hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to share with you guys how i set my dslr camera for beauty video so if you want to see how i do that then keep watching so the thing i do is that first of all i set my shooting so i set my camera in 1080p in 30 frames per second so we also have 60 frames per second but i choose to film my video in 30 frames per second so if you are someone who have camera like mine have 4k then you can actually set your camera using your 4k and also film in 24 or 25 frames per second but these settings depends on your pal and ntsc so it depends on which one of them you choose i think that refers as the country you are in so you just set it the way you want to film it so one thing i like about this camera is that it films in 4k but the 4k is kind of going in and out of focus so it's not it's not actually steady like the way it is in 1080p but the 4k is actually good for sit down talk but definitely not for makeup tutorial so if you are into makeup to tutorial i will advise you to set it in 1080p because that is where the autofocus course is steady so if you set it in 4k that is a whole and a total mess so moving over to the picture style that i'm using there are many different types of picture styles in canon camera you can actually do, choose the one that you like or choose the one that works best for you as i'm filming right now i'm filming in standard so in standard i'm going to share with you also the settings that i do in the standard to get it looking like this yes the first thing i do about standard is to click the default settings so when i click it i go ahead to set my strength in zero okay then i set my contrast in minus four then i set my saturation in minus two but at this very moment i'm filming in minus four okay so then i go ahead again check the color tune and leave it at that zero because one thing about color tune is that you may change it and end up in green when you are black i don't touch it and i don't go there so these are the settings that i do to get it looking this way looking washed you can say looking washed okay so i do this because i do color grading i color grade my videos i color grade anything that i create with this camera i color grade them so that actually makes my video looking like more quality like reducing those settings and in post-production i'll be adding all of them is amazing i know it takes a whole lot of time but the but is that <laughs> it's worth the time that it takes so the best thing for you to do is spend your time to create a good quality content so this is all I do for the standard that I'm using. Then for my ISO, I put it, it depends on my mode and it also depends on the lightning. So if I have a lot of lightning going on, then I'm going to put my ISO in 200. Then if I have no light, like not a lot, but little, I'm going to put it in 400. Okay. So that's how my ISO works. It's not that I can't film in auto. I can film in auto, but the truth is that it can change. It can show yellow, it can show normal color, it can show green, like it can change at any time. So it's not something that you'll be doing your makeup tutorial and you put it in auto. Don't film in auto, but don't let it pass 800. When you let it pass 800, so this is actually how you're gonna look like, okay? because you let it pass 800 this is 1600 iso okay and and as you guys can see it's looking so fucking damn bright okay right now i have added it back to to my normal you know color which is 400 so what i'm using 400 is that i tested 100 and it's dark because this is the zoom lens it's not my nifty 50 okay so i'm using my zoom lens 100 was dark 200 was dark and the next option and next alternative was this 400 this one again is to show you guys how i'll look like without 
you know setting anything instead i'll go ahead to apply more in my settings so for example i'm gonna choose neutral so guys don't forget that the first settings that i used was standard so this time around i choose neutral picture style okay so this neutral picture style, my strength was in plus five and my contrast was in plus one then my saturation was in plus two then the color tone was in the same zero like i said you don't need to tamper with the color tone so this is actually how i'm looking like with no reduction no reduction from you know the camera instead i plussed it so this is actually how i'm looking like if i should film direct from the camera okay so what i mean by film direct from camera is not you know tampering with the settings like adding to the settings like filming and edit and post without touching you no know, color grading or doing anything in post-production sometimes i film like this and basically because i feel tired to you know color grade or do anything in post-production setting my camera like this sit down and start making my videos but this is actually for sit down talk but hey this is not good for any makeup tutorial so because you might like to use white foundation or maybe white concealer and you can't use the setting. This setting is not good for beauty, okay? So this is this setting is good for sit down top videos, okay? But it's not good for makeup because if you use this setting, this is actually how it's going to be and your concealer will end up being white everything will be white so what how you look like is exactly how it's going to appear and in post production you cannot do anything you can't even touch because the more you touch the more it will be more saturated it will look artificial orangey it will look more saturated and more orange and which you will never like in your video okay so if you know that you want to um, or you are not used to color grading just reduce the settings when you go to the application you are using just apply a little bit of saturation in it and start you know editing your video but this particular one is color graded okay color graded and non color graded you guys see the difference so the benefit of it of this reduction and non reduction is that when you do a reduction easy for post production but when you do a non-reduction, non-easy for post-production. Sometimes a lot of them use cine style color to, you know, film, cine style picture style, okay, to film. And cine style picture style is also great, but it's, it's, not, it's not recommended for beauty video because it will wash everything out and render that particular video useless. I've tried it and it didn't work for me, so I stopped using it. So whenever you wanna film, you wanna film with cine style, picture style, then you have to use, use it in something that is not beauty related, like vlog, like um, a lot of things that is not beauty related. I'll also show you guys the settings I use in my Canon G7X Mark II and also how I color grade. And yes, you all, that's all I do. So if you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe in the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell for more videos from Beauty by Chini. And I'll see you all in my next video. Remember, bless and have a wonderful day. Bye.